just a fan. That's your own L, dummy. Why did you just post your fucking L where you're like, you're like incredibly stoked that you took a photo. You look like a fan. You just look like a fan of AOC at that point and nothing more. Um, Next time where Mazda has libs with TikTok PFP on it, don't forget the blue check mark. $500 says Chaya had to tell her who she is. Yeah, most likely. And then when she... When, when she did, here, here's AOC's response. I'm super transphobic, and I never want to share space with you. Thank you. I am here. Out That's it. She took a photo with her. AOC had no idea who the fuck she was. And then after that, she was like, I'm actually libs of TikTok. Lol. I fucking got you. Her middle part is not doing her any favors. Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, I got another take on Libs of TikTok. Apparently, she has like a child's book or something where she likens. Uh, oh, here. Where she likens uh, uh, being trans to a cupcake or something. I saw that post as well. And, and basically, if you think like uh, being trans to a child is, is like uh, a cupcake than, you know, a, a delicious, uh, sugary treat, then you might actually be trans. You know what I mean? It's like, like, it's very odd that you think like being trans is, is, uh, is, is coming as, uh, you know, natural to you like that. And it, it is, it is natural. It's just, you know, it's natural to trans people. Kind of like Rick Perry talking about how dicks are like alcoholism, you know? Dicks are like alcohol to an alcoholic. Like, they're delicious, they're everywhere, you're constantly fantasizing about it, but like an alcoholic who sees another bottle, you, you gotta fucking avoid it, you know? These are both analogies that, you know, repressed people have brought up. Here. Bro, making toddlers look at a fucking transphobia PowerPoint is wild. Like that, that is, that's. That's got to be the most unhinged child abuse I've seen today. No, how visceral. You're old enough to make your own decisions. Mm. Here, I saved you a cupcake. Bro, bro, bro. If you're a kid, if you're a kid and gender identity, like actually understanding uh, gender identity is like a, like a sweet, delicious uh, treat to you, then, you know, maybe, maybe there is something going on there. You know what I mean? This is what I don't understand. You could have shown it as like an evil thing. But she's like, hey, children, be very afraid. Like, they're trying to give you, they're trying to serve you these like delicious cupcakes at school. All these kids are like, bro, I want a fucking cupcake. Shut the fuck up. Funny how drag story time is just normalized books, but conservative story time is propaganda for kids. Yeah. I just don't understand that, like, conservatives looked at Republican, uh, conservatives looked at the Democrats, claimed that they were doing, like, propaganda to children, okay? And then turned around and started actively trying to do propaganda to the children. Like, I remember a couple years back, 
I used to make jokes when Ben Shapiro was like, I'm going to write a child's book. And I was like, what are you going to talk about? Like, sharing is not caring? Like, what the fuck? Like, you're going to be that guy? Or like, actually, actually, hypothetically, uh, sharing is not caring. Uh, sharing is actually communism. That's how the USSR was developed. It's like, that's it? That's the, that's the lesson that you're trying to teach children? Like, what the fuck's wrong with you? And then they did do that. Like, they actually did do that. They're doing it now. Hang on, let's watch this cringe ass altercation. She thought she was a fucking fan. And she's like, actually, I'm lips of TikTok. <laughs> AOC actually owned that conversation. Interrupting her is great. Yeah, exactly. She handled it very well. It looked like she was being kind and taking a photo with a fan and then turned around and fucking ripped into her the moment that she realized who this fucking delusional loser was. Outside the Cannon building, I was here last week because I attempted to ask AOC why she lied about me in a committee hearing. She cowered away. She refused to talk to me. So I'm back here today, one week later, and I'm going to deliver her. And this part of this kind of stuff is pretty funny, honestly. Like, I, I, I do find it really strange that like so many people are basically like, I'm just going to stalk you. Like my, my, my political contribution is just like literally stalking you and being as fucking annoying as possible. There are plenty of people who do this online as well. Like, like I cover. I cover Ben Shapiro regularly because he says a bunch of dumb shit that I don't agree with. It's pretty open and shut. I, I feel like he's damaging. I feel like his ideas are very, very uh, conservative and awful. And when he says some dumb shit, I tell you how it is. Sometimes when he surprisingly has a take that I agree with, I tell you how it is. Okay? But, like, there are so many motherfuckers who just basically have become, like, stalkers as their full-time job especially on the conservative side, okay? Is that not just being a journalist? I know these people aren't, but there's no... Dude, dude, listen. That, you're, you're bringing up a very interesting point, okay? That is literally what they say journalists are doing. But, like, the reality is, first of all, you don't have a carte blanche approach to stalk people if you're a journalist. Remember that. But there's a point. When a journalist is quote unquote stalking you or whatever, there's literally a point. There's a story that they're writing, that they're hunting down. They go to literally every side of the conversation that they can. They try to get additional information about the su subject that they're writing about. What she's doing is not that. What she's doing is just trying to fucking farm views by being in the vicinity of AOC and being like, aha, I'm lives of TikTok. You lied about me. You know what I mean? Like, that's not fucking journalism. You know what I mean? What the fuck? Chatters are going to bring up people harassing cinema in a bathroom. That's not journalism either. I would never in a million years. Tim Pool name dropped you on his live stream right now and said you promote violence. Fuck yeah, dude. At the top of the hour, I serve as a three minute ad break. You know how violent that shit is, dude? To the uninitiated. That's crazy. I already ran the ad break, by the way, so I'm not going to do that again. Yeah, honestly, to be fair, to be fair, if I was as bald as Tim Pool is and someone constantly made fun of me for being that bald, I'd consider that to be violent rhetoric too. You know what I mean? Don't, oh, don't tell me you wouldn't want some Gen Z dipshit do this to Kevin McCarthy. I mean, you know what my perspective on this is, okay? It still would not be journalism. And also, there is no equivalent, 
Okay, you're talking to a David DePeepee supporter. Okay, we are. I'm just kidding. That's not. That's a joke. Listen to me. Listen to me. It's okay to admit that there are differences between good things and bad things. Okay? AOC's footprint on the fucking planet, regardless of how little you might agree with her or how much you hate her because she's like libbed up or whatever, okay, is entirely different than any number of Republicans. Okay? So, yes. There is, I'm not making a principle here, okay? The principle isn't like, stop fucking annoying politicians. I love when you annoy politicians. I'm a fan. What did I say? Why are people saying... First and foremost, none of that is journalism, okay? Annoying politicians is not journalism. Just make no mistake, okay? And number two, annoying politicians is great and good. It's just what she's doing is not for any specific purpose, okay? There's no purpose there. It's just clout-driven. If the fucking Bill Clinton rabbi kid constantly did his Bill Clinton rabbi shit on Kevin McCarthy and every other politician, I'd be like, dude, this is annoying. Do you get it? It doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter. It's like, what is the reason and why are you doing it? If it's directed, even if it's fucking annoying, if it's directed with a specific reason and a purpose that has like actual political motivations, it's understandable. Who you're doing it to, what their background is, what they have done. These are all important contributions to assessing the situation. You're doing that this is a distraction thing? What? No, I'm not. What? Are you fucking stupid? I never even said... I'm literally covering the least related, like, most uh, uh, stupid fucking story of all time. This is like, am I doing the distraction? Is that what you're saying? Am I distracting you? I'm confused. Anyway. An ethics complaint that I filed for lying about an American citizen in a committee hearing. So AOC, she broke the rules. Believe it or not, there's actually rules on Capitol Hill. And 23 clause one is a big one. You got to act the, the way that reflects credibility on the House. And lying about, you know, a U.S. citizen certainly doesn't do that. So we're filing this ethics complaint. Let's go inside and see if she's there. Oh my god, these guys are fucking unbearable, dude. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Do do something productive. Do something productive. How are you doing? Just dropping off some mail for the conversation. Hi, so basically a few weeks ago, AOC yeah. lied about me in a committee hearing. Okay. So I tried to come last week and talk to her, yeah. but she kind of cowered away, wasn't interested in talking to yeah, you're unbelievably goofy. What a fucking loser. Oh my gosh, trying to be Boo Boo Bennett. You got to shit your pants first, lady. Okay? How many pants have you shit inside of as you are actively wearing them? Zero. As far as we know, zero. Bro is desperate for pussy. Oh my God. Ah, uh, AOC lied about me. Uh, come on, dude. Dookie in your fucking pantaloons before we, before we listen to what annoying shit you have to say here. Okay. So uh, together with uh, Mike from the Heritage Foundation Oversight, um, he helped me file this ethics complaint. So we filed that. And if you can give it to AOC, sure. I would really appreciate it. Thank you. And Thank tell you. her to stop lying about American citizens. All right. Have a good one. Okay. Thank you. I just wow, started. we fucking owned her. <laughs> Bro, I swear to God, her her getting unmasked was the fucking worst thing that she could have done. It's just like... 
it, it just made her extra annoying. I swear to God. She's just like now puts her fucking, now she puts herself in the videos and shit too. It's just like, oh, stop. At AOC's office, and unfortunately, she wasn't there. So we left, and then I was walking through the Capitol, and guess who I bumped into? AOC herself. Oh my god, it's so sick. <laughs> fucking got it. <laughs> she sucks so bad, dude. Oh my god, look how excited she is. Ay, ay, ay. I can't wait for the cat turd on masking. I I don't even I don't even want to fucking no nah, that's too much. Cat turd's face is infinitely like. I'll be honest with you, his face. I don't want to see that. I don't want to fucking see that. No, the unmasking that you guys were talking about wasn't him. I don't think. Uh, do I sense a hint of jealousy about what cat turd? Yeah, dude, I really want to be a fucking divorced pervert. A divorced, lonely pervert who constantly fucking talks about farts. That's what I want. That No, cat turd is the one time I'm pro on un not unmasking because like a homie's going to look so bad. I will see that and immediately go into fucking shock. I think they meant about meeting AOZ. Why? I talk to AOZ all the time. Did you deliver an ethics complaint to your office because you lied about me in the committee here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So no, I actually didn't. I never you're actually, no, no, you're you're actually, actually super awesome. transphobic and I never want to share space with you. Thank you. Bro. As a former Hill employee, you can't just walk into a congressional office and speak to the representative. Unless it's some random South Dakota rep, you're not going to meet them. We were told to even lie and say no if certain randoms ask you to talk to my boss. Yeah. Yes, this is what I was waiting for, dude. This is what the fuck I was waiting for. Four hours and 49 minutes into the broadcast and someone comes in right as soon as we got done talking about the indictment and said, did he already talk about the indictment? Let's go. <laughs> Big round of applause for El Dutorino Games. Thank you so much for coming in. Uh, you, as a matter of fact, I haven't. Like, certainly not for the past five hours. Bro, I got the suit on. What do you mean? I'm suited and booted. Uh, yeah, this this shit was whack as fuck. Lives a TikTok creator recounts so on one it. of the oh my god, and then they made new. They keep telling you is you're imagining it if you think children are being physically mutilated in the name of gender ideology, but it's actually real. We wish it weren't. We wish we're imagining it. Hospitals brag about these surgeries, and we know this really because of the founder of a Twitter handle called Libs of TikTok, Haya Rachik. She's reported on it extensively. Of course, this has infuriated people who are dedicated to lying, like Sandy Cortez. You're a liar, she said. Um, and she called Hi Rachik that directly. So Rachik decided to go pay Sandy Cortez a visit. Here's how it went. A few weeks ago, AOC lied about me yeah. on the House floor. Ms. Navaroli, are you familiar with the account Libs of TikTok? That account posted false information about Boston Children's Hospital, claiming that they were providing hysterectomies to children so i am right outside the cannon building and i'm guys they played funny music over it they played funny music over what aoc was saying so you're you're supposed to be conditioned into thinking that that's a lie you know what i mean it's like wow look at this lie it's like bro where's the fucking lie dog it's not like these guys don't act like they uh it's not like these guys don't act like they fucking despise uh, these these institutions like they openly state it while simultaneously be like how dare you repeat what I have said 
Also, what I don't understand is why she's pro banning TikTok. That's odd too, because like TikTok is literally in your name, man. TikTok made you dumbass. Where are you gonna find random uh queer people with like eight followers to to bully and dox mercilessly? I'm going to go inside and hopefully meet AOC and ask her why she lied about me and get some answers. I don't think anyone's here. Hi. 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 Uh, is the congresswoman in? No, she's not. Okay. Is the person who's in charge of her tech policy in? No. Okay. Yeah, so basically she lied about me on the House floor a couple of weeks ago. So I just wanted to ask her why she lied about me. Okay. Give me one second. Okay. <laughs> She said, are you guys recording? Clap. I think we're going to get to talk to her. Dude, this is awesome. Like, you're really fucking, you're really killing it, dude. What are you, see, this is what I mean, okay? You do this to, like, someone like Kristen Cinema or someone like Joe Manchin as they're holding up, like, a specific piece of legislation. Let's say Kristen Cinema says, I don't want to fucking eviscerate the filibuster or reform it, right? And then you go to Kirsten Cinema's office and you film yourself being fucking annoying and saying like, why are you, why are you refusing to reform the filibuster? You're not a journalist. You're an activist. There is a deliberate reason for why you're there. You're doing something. Okay. She's at fucking AOC's office being like, why didn't you lie about me? Matt? Like that, that's the difference. This is what fucking right wingers do because they win all the time. They are victims of their success. What fucking thing can you get mad at AOC about? She has no fucking power, idiot. She got nothing. What has she done? It's not like it's not like there's a liberal equivalent to what the fuck the Republican Party is doing in the sense that like you're you're going up to like uh, AOC's office or fuck it like Rashida Tlaib's office because uh, she passed the we are going to transgender every child rule. You know what I mean? This is what I mean. If Republicans were to behave like this, if Republicans were to behave in the in the same exact way that like sometimes activists or whoever the fuck is is like going after politicians and filming themselves, they would have to go after like the Democratic Party if the Democratic Party was actually uh, it being a bottleneck to, I don't know, uh, further cut tax for the wealthy. You know what I mean? Because that's a Republican policy, but guess what? It's also a Democratic Party policy, which is why there is no fucking equivalent to what you can get mad with respect to the, the, uh, the Democrats in, the, in Congress. There's nothing. Yes, her arms are incredibly long. It's weird. And she's stanced up very weirdly too. I know, I saw. The turfs are bricked meme lives on. This bitch got bigger hands than I do and I'm a six foot six man holy. I mean, that's when you when you find yourself hyper obsessed about like the gender binary as though it like literally exists and as though it's like tied deeply to biology. You know, maybe you're doing it to to make up for the fact that, like, I don't know, you yourself don't perfectly fit that narrow definition. It's like Ben Shapiro, you know what I mean? If I say I'm masculine, maybe people will think I'm masculine, that kind of thing, you know? That's it. Huh. Her, we don't. I don't know if, she, if she's in or not, but I think that that door slam was really telling. So I don't think they want to talk to us. Dear AOC, please don't. Like all these dudes look so hurt in the background too. Like what is that guy? That guy's like a crazy Twitter pervert too, isn't he? Like they all look so fucking sick. They look like the, they look like the sickest puppies in the litter. You know what I mean? They like barely made it out the litter. Like, every single one of them. What the fuck is up with these 
No Riz having zero charisma, charisma black hole ass motherfuckers in the Republican Party. That's Robbie Starbucks, a weirdo. Oh my God. They debate the fuck out of you on Reddit. Yeah, no thanks, man. I'm good. Okay. Ew. AOC, please don't lie about American citizens. Love, Haya. You shouldn't drape yourself in the bourgeoisie garment, young Hasanabi. You mean a fucking suit? I did, though. I'm reflecting my... Well, I was going to say I'm reflecting my class status today, but the reality is rich people don't fucking wear... Like, owners don't wear fucking... This is for the workers, for the most part. They don't really wear suits. Anyway. Oh... <laughs> What's so funny is that Sandy Cortez would not exist as a public figure were it not for social media. She literally filmed herself applying makeup, and then her staff seemed shocked that maybe this is on video. I yeah, that's that's right. AOC utilizes social media to fucking better target younger audiences, which is why we should be able to film ourselves literally in her house, actually. Not even just, like, harassing her outside of her fucking office, but, like, AOC's a congressperson, so why can't I take feet pictures of her energy? Like, that's what's going on here. AOC films herself, and that it's okay. But when I try to take uh, photos of her feet from my balcony that happens to be looking directly at her apartment building, I'm called a creep. Ha ha ha! What's going on? Thanks, Tucker. You really, you really fucking dropped a logic bomb on us, dude. Hi, right, Chick is the founder of Libs of TikTok, and the woman you just saw in that video, she joins us now. Hi, thank you so much for coming on. I, I mean, did you think that she would own up to the provable lie she told about you? I mean, she claimed that something didn't happen that you proved on video did happen. How, did you think she would admit that? AOC claimed that I lied about Boston Children's Hospital. She claimed that I inspired a bomb threat, and I absolutely had no expectations for her to own up to it. I went to her office, and I was ready to sit down with her and get to the bottom of this and explain it. And <laughs> yeah, God, conservatives. You got to love them, dude. They're such fucking twisted freaks, bro. Like... The sense of entitlement is is out of fucking control completely, okay? Just completely out of whack, so distorted. It's like it's like chatters. You know what I mean? Who sometimes will just like go overboard with parasocial shit where they'll like I mean, you guys don't really do this to me because I yell at you all the fucking time, but I see it done to other content creators where they're like, You need to tell me everything that's going on in your life right now. Like, why haven't you streamed in a day or whatever? And I'm like, I see that shit on my timeline sometimes. And I'm like, bitch, what the fuck do you mean? Like, shut the fuck up. You know? You guys don't do that as much because I spend a, a good amount of time just uh, whipping you into shape. Yeah, or when people are like, check your Reddit messages. I need to contact you immediately. And... You're also constantly online too, though. I mean, I sometimes take days off. One time I told you to lay off the energy drinks as a joke and you rose to me and I've never still recovered. Fuck yeah. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that this fucking freak, okay, is this fucking absolute freak is literally just like has that same exact fucking energy where it's like parasocial with AOC. And she, I don't know if she was in the office or not, but I don't, I, she cowered away. I don't think she would ever face me or ever have a discussion about it. But I, as an American citizen, I don't appreciate being defamed in front of millions of people. So I wanted yes. to confront her and she cowered. What's, what, I mean, what, and thank you for adding details there that I should have added in the intro. She accused you of inspiring violence, of effectively a criminal act. 
Yeah, and she is unfortunately protected by legislative privilege. So she is allowed to lie about me in a committee hearing. Um, and not just that, but she's using her position of power to call on big tech to censor people who she disagrees with. That's what she did in the hearing. And that is really scary. It's really scary. And thank you for trying to face her directly, which is a, a nice thing really to do scary. in the social media age. Hi, Ray Chick. Yeah, <laughs> thank you for confronting AOC about uh, whether or not she defamed you. Thank you for just, like, fucking being annoying. I love that. Thank God. Uh, right I was going to cover this story, but I'm glad that Charlie covered it.